This video will be about Kavanaugh's appointment to the Supreme Court. The reason I'm making this video, um, I obviously supported Donald Trump out of a need for a, um, what at the time, what he was campaigning as, was a civil nationalist. So that's why I supported Donald Trump, is he appeared to be a civil nationalist. Uh, now I see him for what he really is, which is a, a stone-cold Zionist. But the thing that people need to understand is the appointment to the Supreme Court. This is what people don't understand. Hillary Clinton, although she was kowtowing to socialism and all sorts of craziness while she was um, running for presidency because she had to keep, uh, keep pace with Bernie Sanders' crazy ass, what you need to know is Hillary Clinton most likely was similar to Bill Clinton, who was exceptionally conservative, especially for a Democrat. And I would state that Bill Clinton probably was, as far as what he did for the country, especially with tackling black crime, being the only president to tackle black crime in the history of this country, I would say that Bill Clinton probably was the best president we had in this country for about a hundred years. I would also say that what's important to remember is this country needs Supreme Court justices that actually understand their role is to basically make sure things coincide with the Constitution and not to legislate from the bench. And it just so happens that the Supreme Court justices that do just that are conservatives. Uh, one that sticks out in my memory quite well is Sandra Day O'Connor, who rightly stated that abortion was not a legal issue, but a moral issue, despite being against it herself. Um, the, the issue is that if, say, Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders had won, we would see more liberals appointed to the Supreme Court and you would see this country be taken in an extremely leftist direction, which it has been being taken in due to that aspect of Bill Clinton's presidency. Because you have to understand, whether or not a Democrat is liberal, or a Republican is liberal, or a Democrat is conservative, or a Republican is liberal or conservative, they will appoint to basically toe their party line so that they get reelected. Donald Trump, I don't think, has any desire. You have to understand, conservative Supreme Court justices do not affect how much we put into Israel's pocketbook, okay? But what they do affect, which is extremely important, is the way that the law is enforced and to make sure that the law is constitutional. We do not need more uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburgs on the Supreme Court, and we do not need more uh, Sonia Sotomayors on the Supreme Court. We do need a conservative Supreme Court, and if anything, that is the one place where I will say that Trump's election has been good for the country is he is appointing conservative Supreme Court justices and federal judges, which we need to make sure the country stays uh, as itself, as a, as a legitimate constitutional republic, because it has been dwindling for the past 80 or so years. We've been getting more liberal, and we've been seeing a lot of crazy things go. If you were to tell me that, um, oh, I don't know, uh, actually, if you were to tell me before Barack Obama was president that people wouldn't know which bathroom to use, or that Bruce Jenner would receive Woman of the Year, I would tell you you're freaking crazy. But, however, that is the damage done when liberals can take office, and especially charismatic liberals, although I don't know how Barack Obama was so charismatic, which speaks volumes to the stupidity of the average American, because I know so many people that will be like, Barack Obama was a great speaker. All I have to say to that is, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um. He was not a great speaker. Um, and I wouldn't say that... Um, Donald Trump is necessarily a charismatic figure either. It just so happens that they have niche, um, basically niche aspects of this country that get behind them. I'm actually kind of disgusted with the fact that 
myself, being a former Trump supporter, that so many people are still so die-hard in support of Trump, despite his blatant, blatant policies of Israel first. And that's all. You know, we won because we get conservative Supreme Court justices and federal judges, which will uh, create a healthier republic in the future.